Hi, my name is Robbie Janae with Shutterstock Tutorials, and today we're teaching you how to do ADR. Because sometimes when you're out in the elements, it's going to sound like this. So today, we're diving into how you can control your audio with ADR. Let's get started. recorded something on set, but that audio that you captured is completely unusable. Now please, don't hunt down the sound engineer. There's a way to save this. Wait, really? Yes, really, it's using a technique called ADR, or Automatic Dialogue Replacement. ADR is the process of dubbing over existing audio recorded on set with the audio recorded in a studio or offset. Offset! That's that's dumb. This secondary recording is controlled so you don't have to worry about the elements like you would on set. So when would you use ADR? Well, if your audio sucks, then ADR is an excellent option in post. ADR se puede utilizar para dobrar segundas lenguas en películas. You might also use it if you have a wide shot that you need dialogue audio for, but you have no real way to capture clear sound doing that. When you have a close up shot in an actor, you can get the boom mic really close to their mouth and get good audio. I'm recording my audio right now with a boom right above my head. The farther I move it away from the subject, the worse the sound's gonna get. So before we dive into the wild world of ADR, there's one thing that I should mention. You should always, always try to get the best sound you can on location. ADR is an arduous process that can take days or even weeks to complete. So your first priority should be capturing good enough location audio to use in the final product. All right, let's get into it. To start off your ADR process, you gotta create an ADR track in your NLE of choice. This is what it looks like. And today, we're teaching you how to do ADR. Take your clip that you would like to dub over and split the dialogue into digestible segments. Now, create another sequence and copy your first segment from the timeline. Paste it four or five times in your ADR sequence. This will help your voice actor get familiar with the audio clip before recording. To lead your actor in, you should create a countdown for them. Just create a new bars and tone clip and drop it into your timeline. Size down that clip to two frames and duplicate it four times. Now just space out the hits to about 15 frames apart. To help the voice actor visualize the countdown, create a text title segment to count along with the hits. You've now got a countdown sequence that you can just copy and paste for the rest of your clips. Now repeat the ADR sequences for the rest of your clips. Now that we've got the ADR tracks ready to go, it's time to start recording the ADR. I recommend using the same mic that you used in the field because if you want to blend your field recordings and your ADR, you want it to sound pretty much the same. Try to record in a dead room or a room with as little echo and reverb as possible. It makes it a lot easier to manipulate the audio later. My office has soundproofing panels on them which help deaden the sound. If you don't have panels like mine, you can also invest in a vocal recording panel. This will prevent any vocal reflection during recording. Try having your actor in the same body position as they were on the on-screen take. Sitting and standing changes the way your voice projects out of your body. All right, when you're all set, all you have to do is press play on your ADR timeline and let the actor voice along with the track. It may take two or three times to get the right take, so have some patience with it. Well, that was our first session. Uh, obviously, gonna need a few to get through uh, some good ones. It might be a whole day that it takes to get good audio out of it, but it's worth it. And also, you can maybe sing some tight tunes while you're in the studio. Get a bunch of shorter stack tutorial. Good for you. Got shorter stack tutorial. Good for you. Got a bit step. <laughs> Once recording is done, unfortunately, you are not done yet. And that raw audio is not going to sound natural at all we're gonna have to put some work into it. So what I usually do is go to my timeline and I'll select the first clip. Now I'm gonna drag over the parametric equalizer effect. Open that effect up. And since sound recorded in outdoor spaces doesn't have a lot of bass to it, we're gonna take down the low levels just a bit. Now it's gonna cut down that really bassy sound that you get when recording in a studio. No matter how perfectly you edit the ADR dialogue, it's still not going to sound natural without environmental sounds. This is where we employ the magician's code. Distraction is your friend. Illusion is your lover. When the audience's eye is drawn to something else, magic. 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 Son of a bitch. Magic. Comes to play. Is this your card? No. 
Just say it's your, just say it's your card. It took me 30 minutes to do that trick, okay? Because you suck. <laughs> the point is, whenever working with ADR, you should layer it with other sounds to make it seem more natural. You should layer in any diegetic sound that may appear in your footage. Now, pop in some outdoor tone. And to wrap it all up, maybe a soundtrack. When you put all these layers together, it can create a distraction from the possibly unnatural audio you recorded in the studio. Now, the ADR track has a nice little audio bed to get comfortable in. There you go, buddy. So there you have it. ADR without having to rent a studio or strangle the sound engineer. Because apparently, you can get prison time for that. So don't. I mean, this is the method that the pros use. We have some people in our office that have recorded with big studios before, and this is the process that they do. So try it out, see if it works, and hopefully it can save your skin one day whenever the sound engineer forgets to put an SD card in the audio recorder. I mean, it, it's happened before. It was. It was you. It wasn't me. It was me. Anyways, like, sub, share, bell, you know the drill. Hasta luego. Thank <laughs> you.